it, my motivation is uh, to meet my friends and then see the sunrise on the top of the mountain. Uh, my day goes much better. Uh, trail running is just different. It's it's not even a, I don't look it at, look at it as a tr as a running. I'm looking at looking at it mainly as exploration. Exploration of unknown, pushing the limits, trying to. It's a quest for beauty. Quest for uh, for trying to find the ideal, ultimate challenge. What propels me too is my enormous uh, ego and try to reassure myself about myself. Uh, I was born originally, I'm from, coming from Slovakia. I've lived in the United States for 23 years almost now. Um, and I live in North Kalana, small town called Mount Airy. It's uh, in the mountains of Kalana. My profession is I'm a physician. My specialty is internal medicine, but I um, do predominantly sleep medicine, which I specialize uh, in later. In 2010, I probably ran my first uh, ultra, um, and I found out that basically I like it, and I'm actually not as bad doing doing the ultras uh, I'm not a great runner and but the ultras there's something else about it that the ultras are more mental I uh, took a part in a race called the Yukon Arctic Ultra which uh, is held in Yukon uh, territories in Canada and is following partially the uh, dog sled race called Yukon Quest um, we did um, 300 miles of this race, and it was self-supported. Um, it was in um, February, so uh, in Yukon territories, uh, at, at, at that latitude, the temperatures are dipping below minus 35, both Celsius or Fahrenheit. At that point, it really doesn't matter. The um, 300 miles, it took me I would say three or four hours shy of five days and um, so I averaged around 60 miles a day. Carrying your uh, material with you, sled, tent, food and um, you just on your own. Um, rest stations are far far and few between. Uh, they may be 60 miles apart and um, most of those are very limited what they offer, um, so um, you have to camp out. You basically are out in a, like a polar explorer uh, without any major support. So you're reenacting re the old days when people were um, uh, exploring the Antarctica and, and, and then North, North Pole. The, the best memories were um, the northern lights and and and, um, and seeing them for a few nights. It was um, first time I ever seen the northern lights, and it was enhanced by the fact that I'm I was in a race. Um, obviously, the great uh, feeling was when I finished <laughs> crossing the finish line, which nobody really waited for me at, at the finish line, which is kind of usual. Never really enjoy running but I think I like to run because it is just a fast hiking I like the um, environment I, just, I don't like running as in motion as much as I like running in the environment um, of mountains and and then off the trail I'm always looking for something a quest that doesn't necessarily have to be running something that uncharted territory, something that people have not done or only a few people had done and just see what my limits are and basically self-propelled race across whatever it takes. Uh, it's more of an exploration of the new territories, I like to travel. So my trail running uh, or uh, en endeavors are usually in a, in a very nice uh, areas that I always wanted to visit. You know, Chile and Canada, Norway, 
um, France and Switzerland, yeah. all over the world essentially. And then Chile, uh, called Ultra Fjord was uh, also one of my races that will be memorable. And the race in Switzerland called Swiss um, Iron Trail was memorable. I just like mountains. I, I think I, I like being out there. So it doesn't matter where I am. I just I don't like running around the tree. I don't like running in a, in a in the woods forever and not to see a, a ridge line. Or I I just like challenging views and um, the uh, running the races. Uh, it's it's very it's fun. Again, you uh, meet other people um, that are very much like you. The trail running and ultra running has it's a special culture of people. People are very. Uh, kind, intelligent, it's not about seconds, they, um, yes, they're fierce competitors, but they, they don't mind helping you out when, when you need it, uh, they run with you for miles, you, you, um, if you, it's very intense, you can connect with many, and they're friends for life, and, uh, my family, my wife is very supportive of me, she, uh, um, she really uh, has a high level of tolerance. Uh, my wife uh, is a physician as well. She teaches at the local university, uh, college. She teaches anatomy and physiology. We uh, have a farm with a bunch of animals on it. And I, my hobbies besides adventure, adventures uh, are Brewing beer. I have three kids. Um, <clears throat> my um, youngest daughter, she's um, uh, 19. She studies in New York uh, fashion design at Parsons. Uh, my middle daughter, she is a first year uh, dental student in Greenville, North Carolina. And my son is a fourth year a medical student in Slovakia. Um, yeah, I don't really have much time training and I don't obsess about it. And I, I, I believe, I think the make-believe, it's uh, not, not to give up and then believe that if one had done it, you can do it yourself. It's, it's kind of a motto I, I always carry with, carry with me. So if if, if 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 somebody did it in, in front, then I can do that. And sometimes if I'm the one doing it for the first time, then I just have to believe that I can do it. It's about a lot of small things, you know, how you can survive, how you can invent yourself, how you can uh, face the different situations and and, and be um, uh, quick to respond and and find yourself. Uh, how, how you can battle the, the sleep deprivation, how you can battle the, uh, the nutrition. And, that, you know, that takes some time, uh, that takes some thinking, that takes a, a certain body type, and I guess uh, those, those, the, the ultras are, are fitting me. But again, maybe there is a point where I'm going to have to retire. <laughs> Next um, February, thousand mile race called Edita Sport. Impossible, which is the original race that follows um, this dark sled race called Edita Rad that goes from Anchorage to Nome. So uh, Alaska, thousand miles, self-supported uh, with sleds, and um, much less supported than the previous Yukon quest, so this will be a, a, a step up. Never stop um, believing you can do it is, is the advice. It's, uh, I hate people when, they, when, when you propose something and they try to explain you how it's not done. I think what, what is the important thing is if you want to do it, you sure can do it. Anybody.